Hello and welcome back. This was where we left off in the last video. If you want to see how we got to this stage, check the link in the description below. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is that I want to create I want to create a sidebar. So I'm going to select this and duplicate. And uh, I'm going to select all this and group. Then I'm going to lock this so that it won't be able to move any of those items. So I'm going to create a rectangle here. Use a rectangle tool to draw this shape. Remove this. I'm going to give it black, total black. I'm going to set the opacity to about say 60. Like that. I'm going to duplicate this Ctrl D. And I'm going to adjust it a little like this. And um, I'm going to give it all white. Increase the opacity to white. I'm going to select this Ctrl D to duplicate. I'm going to move up like this to around uh, around to 40 to 45 okay and i'm going to change the color to this color all right so i'm going to bring my logo here that design bring it in the middle select this make sure it's in the center vertical and horizontal alignment so i have that the next thing I'm going to do is select all this icon, bring them up here and arrange. So I want to have about 30 space from the left, so I'll put it in the left like this. Press the shift one, two, three. And um, I'm going to say everything should be left aligned. And um, I want it to be equally distributed uh vertically so we have it like this also select all this uh, apart from this rectangle and this rectangle so i want to give it a color of this okay then uh, i want to bring in my text bring in all my text that i have Paste it here. So then I will start to arrange each of them to be at the center. Let them be at the center. So like this and this at the center. This and this the center. This and this the center. I'm going to select these two group, these two group, Ctrl G, these two group, these two group, and these two group, and select select everything like so, and make sure they are evenly distributed vertically. Um, so still going to like this. I want to bring everything down a little like this. So there we have it. This is our sidebar. In the next video, we'll be looking at sidebar interaction. I want the sidebar to fly out when we click on this hamburger menu. See you in the next video.